Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for, who's this for? Oh, Sagittarius. <laughs> I knew that when I first got started. Oh, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. See what's happening in this bonus love reading. New love energy, new love coming towards Sagittarius. Sagittarius, oh, there we go. Oh, someone's watching you from a distance. Paying attention to all the little details about you. Look at that. Someone there. Yeah. Sag. Could be you. Can flip it. Ah, look at that. Oh, this person. They aren't giving up. This is somebody who doesn't give up. This person's imagining themselves. Yeah, you've had a tough time in love. You might be ready to give up. There might be, you might be a little stubborn. Maybe this person recognizes that about you. <laughs> yeah. This person could be a good kisser. <laughs> they may be imagining themselves kissing you. Yeah, this person, yeah, they're, I don't think they're going to give up. This person's got some feelings for you. They're ready to reach out and offer you this cup. Some of you, it could be someone from the past. Oh, they see you as the Empress energy. Yes, they, this person's looking out for you. Wow, they, this is a card of holding on, looking at the details, being practical, being realistic, okay? And, and they don't want to let go. This is somebody who's not going to give up. They got love here. Yeah, and this could be you too. All right, you can flip it, but you've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus energy. Definitely could be a Taurus. Yes, somebody here. Oh, sad. Look at you. You're getting a lot of attention, and I feel like you're... Uh, some of you, it's basically saying you're not giving up on love. No matter what, you're not giving up. You're, you're looking for that. You're ready to go offer your cup to someone. You're holding yourself in high regard, though, okay? You're... <laughs> A little bit of an ego, maybe. Hey, Saj. <laughs> That's all right. It's good to have a little bit of egos. Good. Yes, you want balance. You want someone who's just right. You're going towards somebody or someone's coming towards you. You're ready for a new adventure. You're ready for love. You're ready for a commitment. Whoever comes towards you, best be ready for a commitment, okay? Because you're aiming for success here. Somebody wants success with you, but I kind of feel like it's you are the one going out there but like I said you can flip it yeah you got the five of swords somebody here definitely uh yeah they're up in their head they're up in their head trying to figure out how to approach you how to approach you and to do the right thing say the right thing hold you in high regard yeah they put the work in they're willing to do the work this is somebody who's very much up in their head mentally conflicted so very interesting. Some of you, it's an ex who doesn't want to let go. Yeah, they want to work this out with you. They want to get out of their head. They're sitting on a fence. I feel like it's you sitting on a fence here. Waiting for someone to come to you that's just right. And you do. You have somebody. Somebody is choosing you. Look at that. They don't want to give up. So one is. you may have two. You've got an ex plus somebody new. Okay, that's what it's looking like. So some of you know, that's like I'm when I meditate in the cards, I'm always thinking walking away from somebody, ending something, moving towards something new, you know, that kind of an energy. So, yeah, sometimes I wish I didn't have to speak when I was shuffling so I could really meditate uh, that energy. But everybody would be wondering what the heck I was up to, right? All right, Four of Pentacles. There we go. Yeah, so you do have someone from your past that's holding on to you that has sweet feelings. They can't get you out of their head. They absolutely can't. They probably have a few regrets for not putting more effort in. Okay, I feel like they're trying to figure out how to approach you. They want to make this right. They're ready to offer love. They don't want to give up on you. So some of you, it is an ex -age. okay? Some of you are getting a lot of attention. You're going to have success uh, with work for one thing yep finances are looking good you're looking yeah it looks like you're gonna definitely go for um go for the money <laughs> some of you want somebody who's more successful definitely more successful than the person that you're leaving behind okay yes you're going for the money yeah looks like it 
Well, you want to be grounded, practical, safe, and secure. And I'll tell you, when when things work out financially between two people and you both work together uh, to have solid finances, I'll tell you, it can take a lot of strain off of a relationship. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, love should never be about money. But yeah, imagine yourself um, connecting with somebody who has absolutely nothing and two, three, four years into the relationship, the stress gets overwhelming because you're working all the time, trying to pay bills, juggling, doing without. So keep that in mind before you comment on that because I think having uh, financial security in a relationship is a very good thing, okay? In my opinion, I, I feel like, you know, there has to be some kind of balance, but both people have to work on this stability. Both people have to do it, and that's what I feel. You're leaving someone behind who possibly... They may have been selfish, greedy, all right, stubborn, okay, and uh, you probably gave up and you're going off in another direction to find somebody better, somebody who um, reciprocates, shares, okay, and works together with you for the financial stabi stability and the security. So sitting on the fence waiting, there's definitely somebody who's coming towards you. Yeah, someone's thinking about you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Could be a Taurus. I see that very strong Taurus energy. Uh, I see success with finances. I feel like that's important. You really want that stability and that balance here. Someone who helps balance the budget, balance things out. Someone who treats you right. Somebody who will move. You want to move towards marriage. Uh, but you want that marriage to be financially successful. So yeah, there is somebody who is thinking about you. Thinking about um, moving forward slow and steady. Going with the flow. All right, to see where it leads. So someone's about to make a choice about how to approach you, how to say the right thing. You definitely have an ex coming in. Yeah, somebody's coming back around. And then this other person, the one that you want to move towards, <laughs> they are thinking about you as well, about going with the flow to see how things evolve between you because that's what they're concerned about as well, is someone who works towards that goal all right financial stability safety security so things are solid somebody more reliable too okay it may not even be money it could be a matter of somebody being more reliable less stubborn less stuck less selfish okay so very interesting yeah look at that again nine yeah so you're walking away from someone from the past of that energy uh, where you didn't feel like you were going to have any success so but i feel like you're not giving up you're still not giving up you're going back out but it's also that person coming towards you with a similar energy right they're leaving someone for a similar reason yeah you want somebody who comes in and fights for you uh, you may have a cancer uh, could be a Scorpio, Aries, or Leo, all right, Sagittarius, you're both, like I said, I feel like you're both got a similar thing going on, but you, I feel as though you want someone who fights for you, I feel like this other person wants somebody who's very passionate, very hardworking, knows how to balance it, right, where you both have that balance, where you're just right, okay, Balance in love, balance, yep, just right. Balance in love, balance in the budget, and balanced emotions as well. So you're going off for something new. I do feel like you're leaving someone behind. You're taking control. You're offering up your cup elsewhere. Holding yourself in high regard with the Empress. You're going for new love. This is love. You definitely have it coming. So, yes, look at that strength and confidence. You could have a Leo. Yeah, it could be a Leo coming towards you that sees these same qualities in you. All right, that's what they're looking for, and that's what you're looking for. There's going to be some success. You're both possibly setting yourself free. Okay, you both might be a little arrogant, holding yourselves in high regard, but that's because you're strong. You're gaining that strength and that confidence to go for, go after what you want because you want success in love and success in finances. So finding that person who's just like you, that perfect fit. Tell me about the six of wands. Yeah, look at that. Going towards somebody who's just right. You want success. Yeah, look at that. Somebody who holds you in high regard. They take care of themselves just like you. They have money. They have their finances together. Yes, yes, yes. You want that connection, mental and emotional. Holy cow. Yeah, you do. You're looking for that. There's someone here, though, that, you you know, there is this person who's coming in from the past that's mentally conflicted. I don't think they want you. They're worried you've given up and left. It, and you've. I feel like you have, a lot of you. I feel like you've given up. Some of you may not. You know, take, it how, take what resonates. Leave the rest behind because there's a lot going on here. 
Now tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is this here? Somebody's a bit conflicted here. Yeah, so somebody's a little bit conflicted. They want to communicate. They want to put more passion and energy towards this. I feel like this is that mental and physical connection. That's what you want. That's what your person wants. But this X is trying to find the strength and the confidence to come in. This person may have been a little arrogant. They may have been getting attention from other people. Okay, you may have... Uh, felt this there was a conflict between the two of you you felt you couldn't trust them so you may be taking your energy towards somebody who works with you makes you feel safe and secure and that is this person here that's coming in that's thinking about you being practical about how to approach you somebody who wants to you know pay attention to the details and will go with the flow see what happens allowing things to evolve but again that coming back around i feel like this you got an ex who doesn't want to leave you alone some of you okay they're going to just sort of keep getting in the middle of things uh, but i think you're done with it for most of you some of you maybe not might you might give this person a chance see what they have to say sort of sit in the fence and hear what they have to say uh, to see if they've evolved grown or changed so tell me about that energy yeah so yeah this person definitely yeah there you want somebody somebody here definitely i think you're going to leave this somebody out in the cold i feel like they don't have enough money they might you know i sorry to say that but i i just feel like there's someone here who's selfish and stubborn that you're leaving somebody from the past you just had enough you did all the work all right this is where you did all the work okay and you're looking back at this and you're just not going to do it um but they are coming, yeah, they, this person, they want to come back around, but they have one little pinnacle, all right, they don't have much, but they want to commit, so I feel like this person's going to come back around, and I think you're just going to leave them out, because they're traditionally coming back around exactly like they did before, they have nothing to offer, uh, in fact, they don't want to offer anything. This is the thing. They don't want to give you anything, but they'll be happy to come in and take from you. So, yeah, you're going to go for somebody else. You want somebody more traditional. You want things to go in a traditional manner. All right. If you like this person's... Yeah, there's just no hope. They're going to behave. You know it too, right? You know it. That's why you're up here like this. You're almost ready to drop it completely, but you're probably still up in your head a little conflicted because, you know, you probably had some feelings. There was probably some kind of a connection. Maybe you have that mental and emotional connection with them, you know, and everything, you know, you were friends and everything got along good that way, but not the financial part. Oh, they were stubborn, stuck. They don't want to let go of you, though, but they also don't want to let go of their money. <laughs> yeah, some of you are holding on to your money. <laughs> yeah, you're holding on to your money. This is what you want. You want the king, all right? You want this king of cups. Somebody, there's that king of cups, king and queen of cups. There you are. Yeah, you want someone who's traditional, who puts in the effort. You're, uh... Yeah, I, I think the X, it's a big, big no, no, no. I think you're going to just ignore them and go for somebody more traditional. I feel like you probably have this Taurus here that's uh, trying to figure out how to approach you. Uh, they want to, it's like they want to be careful how they approach you because they may know you're on the fence. They may know you have an X, so they may be someone who knows a little bit about you. All right, King of Cups energy. Who is this person and what is their intentions towards Sagittarius? You want somebody who's ready to be in love, someone who's ready to commit. You're going to, I think you're going to ghost the other person. Yeah, so we have, yeah, so, so you're not so sure. You're not so sure. Feeling a little stuck here. Yeah, you're going to have a, you're having a hard time releasing this person from the past. There's a big connection there between you. Not so sure what to do. Uh, there's one offer you're not accepting, and you're not too sure about this new person either. You want to make sure, yeah, you want to make sure, yeah, you're going, you're putting an end to something. You're ready for transformation. So, yeah. So, I feel like what's going to happen is you are going to be moving away from somebody, and you're at that nine of staves. You're not quite there, okay, but you're not ready to give up on love. But I actually feel there's someone else, that, that X, right? But uh, I feel like you're going to have to take control of this and uh, really fight. You've got to, whoever it is has got some Leo in their chart. 
someone sees you as strong and confident okay uh, someone's trying to gain the strength and the confidence to come in uh, to heal this uh, someone feels confident that there's love yeah ready to put their cups on the table yeah you do have a new beginning tell me about this ace ace of cups tell me about this ace of cups where does this lead for sagittarius wow you got a few people here the energy is really intermingling tell me about the ace of cups why is this here why is this here there we go yeah on the fence just like here yeah being practical being realistic holding yourself in high regard speaking your truth yeah, you're going to have success. You know, this is the thing you do. This is how you get success is hold yourself in high regard, be practical, grounded, and realistic. Sag, if you've got Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, especially Taurus in your chart, this person's definitely um, wants to come towards you. They feel that pull towards you in a really big way. They're trying to gain the strength and the confidence to come in and tell you and lay all those feelings and emotions out there to have this new beginning. They don't want to let go of this connection. But I, I do feel like you're ready to leave, set yourself free from them. I do. I think you're ready for something new. And I feel like holding yourself in regard, high regard, uh, keeping yourself single, keeping everything you have to yourself is going to give you the success you need. You're being realistic here. Okay, and it's a lot about its money. You want somebody you have a proper financial future with. You're told, trying to hold on to your finances, all right, and keep moving forward. So some of you definitely are leaving something behind. Somebody who didn't uh, share. You feel like there's no hope for any kind of financial. Yep, ending something and having something new. Possibly a Leo that's coming towards you. Who is the ex? Tell me about, they could be, they could be um, Aries, Leo, Sag. You're the Sag. They could be a Leo, though. You may be ending things with a Leo and going off for something new. Who's the new person? Uh, somebody coming in. Cancer. Okay, some of you got a Cancer swooping in to save the day. <laughs> something new yeah you're going off in another direction for something new i i really feel like it's a bit of a struggle though to get rid of this person yeah you're you want someone who comes in and puts the work in you aren't been working on yourself you're not going to repeat any of these mistakes from the past okay uh, you want somebody who puts the work in so who's coming in to put the work in who's coming in to put the work in some of you got an x here that is not going to let go end of pain yeah so you're done you're not repeating the same mistakes from the past you absolutely aren't doing it i feel like your ex is going to try to tell you this but i don't think so you're going you want something brand spanking new uh you've had enough and it's funny because i read the comments and over this last few months i'm hearing a lot of that i've had enough of the ex i've had enough of the ex well here it is end it don't think about them all right <laughs> yeah let it go be done with it Tell me about this new connection. There we go. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're leaving something behind, avoiding a disaster. You're moving forward with all the things you learned towards somebody new where you have that bond, that connection. You're moving for new love. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There you go. All right, so you've got this Leo. Leo wants to come in. They want something new. You're leaving behind the Leo, though. They are going to keep trying to come in. You've got a Cancer energy you may have that in your chart but i this really could be a lot of your energy or you have a scorpio they could be a scorpio you're ending things with this is your person the one that's going to bring in the financial stability work with you right someone you're going to work with to build the financial security somebody who's going to put the work in to make you feel safe and secure and that's what you want someone just like you you work and plan all right whether you've got taurus virgo or capricorn in your chart it's irrelevant it's just telling you to, you need somebody who is like you that likes to plan for the future that likes to hold on to their money and work for their money you know a couple of home bodies spend you know <laughs> that like to save for a rainy day. That's what you want, because I feel like this person from the past, there's no hope. Uh, they also may have some earth in their chart. And I would imagine, Sag, if you've got fire, uh, the people that you meet probably have fire somewhere. If you've got earth, they probably have earth somewhere. That's usually what draws two people together, that chemistry, right? When you got those similarities. Uh, wherever they may be in their chart, right, in prevalent places. 
So you got someone who's offering you, you know, a smaller offer and that wants to come back around, but you don't see any hope uh, of having a commitment with them. They're coming back around exactly the way they behaved before. So you're ending it. You're going for something new. You're not repeating any of the mistakes. You don't want to do this. It's done now. You're going to put that behind you. Okay. Uh, you're going to wait patiently for this person to come in. You will see them in your future eventually. Hold yourself in high regard. Keep yourself up. Keep yourself looking as good as you can. Uh, this is also somebody very earthy. Now, I had someone commenting the other day. It was kind of funny. How can we look good with lockdown? We can't go to hairdressers. You know, there's always a way. Um, to, you know, and you got to understand, Not you look at yourself in the mirror in one way, and other people see you totally different. And in my experience, there's a lot of um, men and women out there who... Uh, prefer a more natural, earthy uh, look. They don't need all the fluff. They don't need the nails. They don't need the hairdos. They don't need the jewelry and the bling, the makeup. They don't care about that. Okay. This is two people who are practical, grounded. This is two people who plan financially for the future. They work very hard. They do take care of themselves, though. They keep themselves up, but they're also both very earthy and very natural. So, that may be something you're looking for as well, something more natural, all right? And again, with the, with the Empress energy here, you got this Taurus energy, uh, this Libra energy as well. Um, very earthy, very natural, okay? Uh, there's no fluff here. This isn't always, I mean, she can be. Uh, wear makeup and go to the hair salon, have her nails done, whatever. You know, whatever works, right? But... Uh, keep that in mind because I know a lot of people I'm seeing that you know oh, we can't get our hair done how can we go out and date try El Natural try something different you might be surprised who's attracted to your natural self you know <laughs> with less right sometimes less is more for some people but the Empress will do whatever she wants <laughs> if you want the bling you go for the bling if whatever brings you success right whatever brings you success whatever you think is going to work yeah, so I like this reading. It's good. You're done with the past. And this, as you start this relationship or you get to know this other person, your ex is going to come back and really lay it out there. Okay, they really want a future. They think they can be happy with you. But the thing is, is they don't really want to put the work in. Okay, now they're going to behave like they did before. They're quite selfish. They really don't want to share anything. Um, they'll So you need to hold on to your finances with this person because... It looks like they like to spend your money, <laughs> but they don't like to spend theirs, okay? So just cautious with that, yeah. So be very, this person's, yeah, this person's planning for the future. This is somebody who's very patient when they're into their investments. They like to invest their money. They like balance. They're looking for somebody just like that. So be patient as you go through this person. This person will be patient if they come in. They will come to you, right? They want success with you. And, uh, yeah, like I say, that X is going to come in and it's going to get a little bit tense at times or you're going to get up in your head. But I think at the, in the end, you're just going to say enough and put an end to it. I don't want this. I'm taking my energy elsewhere. I don't want any more mental conflict. I can't trust that this person's going to do their part. Okay. Um, if I come together with them in, in, for financial security or even just to make you feel safe and secure. So I'm going to grab some outcome cards here. What is the outcome of this situation, this love situation? For Sagittarius. Yeah, wow. There we go. Soulmates, yeah. You're going to wait patiently. It's telling you to wait for this person. Okay, you may have to be friends first until you completely release this person. Okay, um, then yeah, the ex is going to keep fighting. They're not going to give up, so it's going to be a little bit harsh. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get a little anxiety here, you know, a little bit of mental conflict, maybe some mind games in the way this person communicates you. I feel like they're a little bit of a manipulator, and they're going to try to come towards you, but I think you're going to be practical. I don't think you're going to put any more work into this. I really don't. Uh, it's just... You're probably going to have to, yeah, leaving the past in the past and you're ready to move into the future. You want someone who's in the present. So I feel like that's what I was going to say is I feel like this person's going to come in and tell you that they're willing to move forward with you and that they've changed. 
and um, you know they have remorse and regret maybe for not sharing their money with you sharing their finances whatever the issue is they didn't do their part and I don't feel they're going to I think they're going to try to manipulate you so they can come in quick they're all about the passion okay yeah they also may have fire in their chart somewhere so well, I do kind of feel they could be a Scorpio. So keep, yeah, hold yourself in high regard. Be poised and ready. So now that you have this information, you're going to know when this manipulation comes in, this X starts to try to play a little mind game so they can come towards you uh, very quick. This is going to come in quite sudden. And because uh, I, some of you are probably just walked away, but you're still kind of not quite 100% over it. Okay, you're probably still in your emotions. You're fighting all right to move away but you're probably still a little bit in your emotions but you're not giving up on love and i like that energy and i thought sag for you yeah, you'll just set yourself free and go off for a new adventure and but i think you're going to be really practical and very grounded and realistic about it i think you're really going to be um taking your time with this next person okay uh, to make sure that they treat you properly and i do feel like you have success coming okay so Keep up the good work. Be poised and ready. All right. Hold yourself in high regard. And uh, <laughs> poised too when you see this. It's like a, I was just telling everyone, don't worry about your hair. You know, some of you may want to, you know, get yourself together a little bit before they come in. Because it might make you feel a little more safe and secure, a little more comfortable uh, with yourself when you present. But I don't think you need to worry about it. This person's very grounded, very earthy. Uh, they're more concerned about your um, your earthy natural qualities to be honest um, they really aren't somebody who goes for the fluff okay and the bling at all so all right take care of yourselves everyone i wish you the best i hope this comes true sooner than later all right keep your eyes open and we'll see you soon bye for now